All right, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave you without one more thing that I found. One more. One more. It's a. It's a small thing. It's a small thing, but it's a special thing. Yay! Boots had a conversation with Montreth uh, a while ago. Uh, you know, to work on his piece, um, and I said, "Hey, Montreth, um, can you find me?" scripts to Christian puppet shows? She said, what about? And I was like, I was like, well, uh, I don't know, like, mm, the fact that global warming is a fraud? And she's like, yeah, here, here you go. I already have this on my computer. So, I am going to bring up Chris Collision. There you go. Oh, that's, that's appropriate. Yeah, yeah. So this right here, Chris Collision. This guy right here, he's Stog. And this is Lemon. I gotta say, there was half a second that I was super disappointed. <laughs> like, like that's how fragile my ego was. He said, "This is Lemon," and nothing happened. <laughs> And I was more depressed than I've been in a month. Anyway, uh, so this is a piece called The Sky is Falling. Um, Stog, uh, his hand, will be playing the part of Clyde, right? And then uh, Chris Collision here, he is playing the part of Sonny. What about the fucking puppet? <laughs> Stog has a puppet. What about the puppet? You're the voice of authority. That fucking voice? That's the voice of authority right there. Uh, yeah, I know this guy thinks shit. All right. So I'm going to set the stage by saying that <laughs> that's, that's down there, down, down, you're, you missed, you missed. All right. So Clyde enters, takes a deep breath, and holds it. He begins to struggle as Sonny enters, hurrying to him. Clyde? Clyde, what are you doing? What's wrong? Ham talk? I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Holding your breath? What for? That's crazy. Clyde, breathe. You're going to pass out. Clyde. <sighs> oh, thanks a lot, Sonny. You messed everything up. What's wrong with you? Do you want to kill the Earth? <laughs> what are you talking about, Clyde? Cl kill the Earth? What's got into you. What does holding your breath have to do with killing the Earth? You're talking crazy. I think lack of oxygen has messed up your mind. You better tell me what this is all about. Oh, okay. Well, last night on the news, they were talking about how carbon dioxide is messing up the planet and we had stopped putting carbon dioxide into the air that everything would die. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the, the ice caps built and the earth would heat and, and the earth would heat up and we would all burn up in the flood and burn up in the flood and, and, and that, that would be the end of everything we learned in science class that everything that breathes makes carbon dioxide when they exhale, you know. Boo! You know, uh, so I like that that we can all just learn to breath less and we can save the planet. It's the least I can do, Sonny. I'm really scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Clyde. That's the dumbest thing I have ever heard come what? out of your mouth. And I've known you a long time. <laughs> Don't you believe? Well, duh, you know I do, Sonny, we all do. 
<laughs> okay. Then you know why he made the earth. Right. Well, yeah! To be inhabited by his creation! It's so right there in Genesis! All that be fruitful and multiply stuff! So why do you doubt him? What do you mean? I don't doubt God! He's with God! But Clyde, by worrying about what man says, what these so-called experts say, is showing that you doubt God. <laughs> his creation, all life on this planet, is his greatest work. Now, <laughs> now, now, if you had something you made that you were proud of, would you just wad it up and throw it in the trash? <laughs> would you? Would you let anyone else? Do that to something nice you had made. <laughs> well, of course not. My mom still has a pencil holder I made for her when I was in kindergarten, and she says she's never gonna get rid of it. Well, there you go. That's how God feels about the earth. He loves us and all the critters and plants that he made. He's not going to let it be destroyed, especially by something as ignorant and simple as us humans. <laughs> here, here, I'll show you. Clyde, well. I want you to make it snow. Right now. Come on. Make it snow. Oh, now you're talking crazy. I can't make it snow. Only God can make it snow. <laughs> now you're getting the picture. See, these people want to make you think that you are as powerful as God. That we humans can actually control the weather by our actions. And yet, neither you nor I, or a whole room full of scientists. Yeah! Yeah! Science! 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 You can't make it snow, or rain, or control which way the wind blows. Only God, who created the laws of nature, can do that. He made this world to be inhabited by life. He's the one who has the final say. I'm sure he's not too happy with some of his creation right now. But he's not ready to chuck the whole ball of wax just yet. So it's okay to breathe? <laughs> yes, Clyde. It's okay to breathe. <sighs> but Sonny, why would they say that? It was on the news, so I thought it had to be true. So the experts are lying, right? Should they know that God won't let the earth be ruined? Well, yes and no, Clyde. It's true we should be good stewards of the earth. God wants us to take care of his creation and not to be piggy with all of his resources. You remember the highway trash pickup we did the other week, right? Yeah! 
That's a type of stewardship, keeping our stretch of the roadside clean. But I really think part of the problem is that a lot of these climate experts don't believe in God and don't know of his promises. No way! Way. No, that's crazier than the idea of fossil fuel. Oh, oh. Well, it's crazier than the idea of all of us killing the earth. How can they not believe in God? That's just nuts. Yep. You got it, Clyde. Most scientists. Put the intelligence of man above the power, wisdom, and grace of God. They don't realize. They don't realize that it was God who gave them those brains to begin with. But you can quit worrying. Well, that's good to know, because honestly, I had no idea how I was going to be able to hold my breath while I was asleep. I haven't figured that part out yet. <laughs> hey. Now that you're breathing again, do you want to come over to my house and shoot some hoops? I'm physically doing to him what you did to him psychologically. Fuck you, Sonny! <laughs> Fuck Sonny! Fuck Sonny! Fuck Sonny! Sonny of God. <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Fuck you, Sonny! <laughs> Thank you to Chris Collision and Stug! Thanks, Montre. Thanks, Montre. And lots of. All right. <clears throat> I don't get genuine very often, but I'm going to say this to you people, you people in this room right now, which is that me and some friends of mine that we collected from the internet, we did a thing because we thought it was fun to do a thing. We had at one point a listenership to the podcast that was smaller than the people that were involved in the podcast itself. And from that, we acquired people like yourself, and I don't want to say acquired, you came to us, you're not fucking fans, you're people who like the shit that we like, and I appreciate all of you so much for that fact, and so thank you so very much for coming down to this event, I hope you enjoyed it half as much as I did, my name is Lemon, you people are amazing, thank you, have an excellent night! And the people who've never heard the F-plus before, they're still here! <laughs> We're not as scary as we think. The bar is not closed yet. If you want to hang out with us in the bar, I would welcome you to do so. Drink with us, because I was trying to not 
get that drunk, but that's over because the show's over. So let's get drunk together. I love you. Thank you so very much. Good night for real. Buy shirts. <laughs>